Good morning. Looking a little vampy today. I'm also wearing a little bow, but I don't think you can see it. So, uh, we, we didn't quite sleep in. I mean, we got up at like 10-ish, which seems like a lion, but it's not because we went to sleep at like three because Derek was working forever and I was editing my video forever. And uh, I started uploading at like 3 a.m. and it's still uploading and it's 11. Uh, it looks like it still has 32 minutes to upload so we'll see if that happens uh, sooner rather than later uh, Byron is on his way up and he's taking us to the Indiana State Fair it's going to be the second time I think we went not last year but the year before last year we couldn't quite make it work or did we? I haven't watched my vlogs again so maybe I made it last year and the year before I don't know anyway I'm really excited. I'm excited about fried foods. Uh, what am I most excited for? I know Derek is most excited for um, corn on the cob. He loves fair corn on the cob. So do I. It's really good. Uh, I also am looking forward to the, uh, last year. I don't know if this was the state fair or in Washington state, but they had a mashed potato and chicken parfait. It was really good. Um, I don't know. I'm really hungry though because it's like 11 right now. I think this is going to be the Gen Con where I talk about food all the time. Derek, what are you lo most looking forward to at the fair? Uh, food? Poke your head up. Corn on the cob. Corn on the cob. Then we have some friends that are in town. Rob Watkins is here and I think he's got people with him and he wants to play games. So maybe when we get back from the fair. Derek wants to work because, you know, he has to. But maybe I'll go for dinner and play some games with them. And that's what I expect the day to be like. Oh, yeah. I'm nice to see you. Nice to see you as well. Tell them about the weather and stuff. Hot, but not too hot. And humid, but not too humid, so it's better than bad. So it's Indiana. I think it's nice. It's probably uh, about 80 right now.
fierce, fierce and manly. Fierce and manly, Alice in Wonderland. Okay, so you do know what's there. Sure. Good. Can you taste the peanut butter in it? Mm-hmm. Huh. You want mine? So it's peanut butter, peanut butter, yeah, pineapple, and pork. Just pineapple, then pork, and then peanut butter. The more I eat it, the more I like it. In hindsight, I think sunscreen would have been a good. Probably. Good, yeah. Good idea. Your power is too much. really good when the people were eating it. Well? Yeah, I can see there. it looks like a whole lot of batter right there. Okay. Maybe they got batter. It's okay so far. Okay. Very yeah. peanut buttery. Make a peanut butter sandwich. Mm. Um, Bahama Baba. Is it good? Uh, yes, it is. It's like strawberry, kiwi, and something else too. I think.
get there. Oh. What is it? Windex. Is this what? I mean, I'm not surprised that this is what they did in the oldie America. Yeah, you gotta clean yeah. out your intestinal tract. It's a, it's a Greek um, a health tonic. Yep. It's actually pronounced yeah. Windex. The last thing they saw is that we were at the fair. Yeah. We were leaving. Yeah. Update. Update. So we left the fair, and then we came home, and we took we a nap. We came home? Yep, home. Home is where the butt is, so we live in a train now. Uh, so we came home and took a nap, and then uh, I got up and started doing work again. Yep, so I've just been lazy and napping, and it is now... Hey, look at that. It's 10, 15-ish. Oh my god. So flattering. So I've just been editing and Derek's been working and it's late, but we haven't actually had dinner. We're gonna go find some food. The only place I know is open for sure is Steak and Shake, but we'll, we'll look around. Also, I feel that Derek and I are probably a little bit, a little bit redder than we want to have been and probably a little dehydrated. For reference, our hotel is that one right in front of the Lucas Oil Stadium. Uh, we're just crossing Pan Am Square because we don't have a better name for it. Across the street over there we have Harry and Izzy's. You want to tell people about Harry and Izzy's? Sure. Well, the Harry and Izzy's is where we always go to make make sure we get one meal at least at the show because they have, uh, they can order from the menu from St. Elmo's so you can get the St. Elmo's famous horseradish shrimp cocktail, which is really good and really strong. That's great. And then they also have this steak they cook easy style, where it's encrusted with peppercorns and drenched in like a brandy sauce or something like that. Um, so it's a very like special kind of overpowering steak flavor. We usually go uh, like right after the con. Yeah. So that all the volunteers and stuff can come with us. It's really fun. I try to go at some point uh, while we're here. It's like a, the one place I try to make sure I eat. Oh yeah, this, this is, is where, where the beer garden everything's gonna be. This is where the beer bar beer garden's gonna be. What's this year's beer called? Uh, Dragon's Delight or something? Is yeah, it's something delight. The Ram is usually uh, well I mean everybody knows what the Ram is, but the Ram at Gen Con is special because it's sponsored by Privateer Press and they usually deck it out in like war machine and hoard stuff and all the menus menu items are all like war machine and hoardsy and it's really really cute. I really like it. I think Paizo does the same thing with Scotty's Brew House. Yep, at least they, they used to. Yeah. Scotty's Brew House is really good. We'll, we'll end up there at some point. If we turn the corner around Stick and Shake, we get to the, the Dick's Last Resort. It is a really fun place to go eat if you like being berated by staff. Um, it is funny for a one-off time experience, but we don't feel like we want to be yelled at tonight. And then you've got Noodle Company, which looks pretty close to me. What do you think? Mm, yeah. Okay. Noodle Company's real good. And then right over there, that's the Indiana Convention Center. We kind of walked around it. see I don't think mine is quite as bad as yours I definitely think my t-zone got some sun though it's not good um steak and shake was good I had the chili mac Derek had a hot dog and a grilled cheese thing you had chili and a cup of spaghetti there was no mac involved and tonight Indy actually had a Bruno Mars concert on so we it was at, by the end by the time we were leaving it was packed with people from the Bruno Mars concert and also today was a cold home game, so the city was super jammers and we weren't in it because we were getting sunburned at the state fair. Derek's plan is to do some last minute work. Last minute work. I mean, it's not that he's left it to the last minute, it's that people need to change their events 
and cancel events and yeah last minute uh, kind of emergencies that have come up oh his skin is so red you're so... oh wow that's oh no <laughs> it's fine it's fine Derek officially starts like proper gen con work tomorrow he's gonna meet up with all the hotels i think he's got jw tomorrow or marriott uh crown plaza on jw mm. so he's officially starting like gen con on site work and that means i am left to my own devices i will go to walgreens uh, i think it's a walgreens that's by the circle monument and i will get him some aloe vera and sunscreen um and right now, oh, uh, let me see, what was I going to say? Steak and Shake. Steak and Shake is like about a block away from the convention center. So during the con, you pretty much just won't be able to go. It's just so full. The line, they're, they're not particularly fast. The lines are huge. I mean, I recommend going if you really want to go, but it'll take a long time. They have uh, all you can eat $4 pancakes, $3.99. Um, I've done this. For breakfast a few years ago and essentially they give you like four pancakes and when you eat them they'll bring you more and then when you eat those it'll bring you more until you say stop it's pretty great um i recommend going if you're gonna go to steak and shake i recommend going after not after wednesday like wednesdays when i usually go with all my friends and uh, wednesdays we go to steak and shake for breakfast and then we go to the farmer's market and then by the time that's done uh, we'll call is open so we do that some advice if you're going to get food while you're at Gen Con, um, get food before the dealer hall closes because there's a there's a rush at six o'clock when the dealer hall closes and everybody wants to get food. Um, go, try and go like two blocks out from the con. Um, there's there's plenty of places. There's the Clara, there's the Tilt, there's a Hooters, there's a Spaghetti Factory. The mall is also good. They have a really good food court. I'll show you that tomorrow. Um, Try and just, if you stay within the like one to two block radius of the convention center, the waits are just really long. My goal, since I'm, I'm a little sun-kissed today, is to take care, uh, to try out this relaxation kit that the Crown Plaza gives you when you're, if you're staying here. It's called the Sleep Tight Kit. Let's see. That's what we're getting. We have resting cream and um a soothing balm for aching limbs and feet and then somewhere like like spray i think you're meant to put that like on your pillow so you sleep better 